Hey guys, welcome to Adelicious and I am Aditi. I know I'm a little late on the bottle cake trend, but I really wanted to do one on my channel. So I decided to do this fruity cake. For those who don't know, fruity is a mango based drink you get in India, but you can do it for any juice or drink you want. It's a delicious layered mango cake recipe. I hope you like it. List of ingredients and quantities will be listed down below in the description box. So let's get started. We'll start off by sifting our dry ingredients for our vanilla cake. So in a bowl, add in the all-purpose flour along with the baking powder, baking soda and some salt. Sift it together nicely to remove all the lumps. And now it's time to work on the wet ingredients. So in a bowl, add in some yogurt or curd along with some sugar. Whisk it till the sugar gets dissolved in the yogurt. Once the sugar is dissolved, add in the oil and whisk it nicely to emulsify the yogurt and the oil. Once that is done, now it's time to alternate our wet and dry ingredients. Starting off with our dry ingredient, add a third of the dry ingredients and then add half of the milk. Whisk it gently. Do not over mix. You don't want a tough cake. Add one third of the dry mix again and then the rest of the milk. Whisk it nicely and then add the rest of the dry ingredients and whisk it till you have a smooth batter. Don't forget to add in a splash of vanilla extract. Whisk till you have a smooth batter. Line a 8 by 8 inch tin with a parchment paper, pour in the batter and bake this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye as it bakes quite quickly. You know it's done when a skewer inserted into the center comes out clean like this. Once done, let it cool for 10 minutes and then tra transfer it onto a wire rack to cool completely. So let's make the mango jelly layer for our cake. So here I have the fruity drink itself. Pour it into a small saucepan. I'm using agar agar for a wedge version but you can use gelatin. I'll list the quantity for the gelatin as well in the description box below. Sprinkle on the agar agar onto the fruity. Whisk it till, uh, till the agar agar is dissolved and then heat it on a medium high heat till you get a good boil like this and then transfer it onto a cling film lined 6x6 pan and then put it in the fridge to chill completely till it's set. For my outer layer of the bottle I'm using some white compound chocolate but you can use candy melts or coverture but you need to temper the chocolate. Melt it in the microwave at 30 second intervals till the chocolate is nicely melted and silky smooth like this. I'm using Wilton's candy color which, is, which are oil based colors in the shade yellow and orange to dye my chocolate. Add few drops at once and do not, do not add too much because you can add more but you cannot remove any. So mix in colors till you get the desired shade. You can keep some fruity for the reference. So this is what it looks like. Once happy, here I have the fruity bottle which I have cleaned and dried completely. Using an X-Acto knife, score the back of the label uh, gently in a straight line. To remove the label, keep this label intact because we will use it later on. Using a serrated knife, cut the bottle in half like this. And now it's time to coat our bottles with chocolate. Pour in some of the chocolate and then twist the bottle around and remove excess by shaking it in the bowl do the same with the other half pour in the chocolate then turn around the bottle to coat each part with chocolate remove the excess by tapping it out into the bowl once you're happy with the single coat put it in the fridge for 10 minutes before we move on to doing the second coat once out of the fridge now it's time to do the second coat again do the same pour in the chocolate then twist it around to coat completely and then tap off the excess Repeat the same for both the parts. Now put it into the fridge to chill completely so that chocolate sets. Moving on to the mango filling for our cake, whip some cream till you have soft peaks. Once done, add in, add in the powdered sugar and whisk it again till you get stiff peaks. Now it's time to add some mango puree which is just mango blended in the blender to create the puree. You can add more or less sugar depending upon the sweetness of your mango. Now that all our elements are ready, I've transferred the mango filling into a piping bag so it will be easier to pipe. Remove the jelly by just pulling onto the cling film and it will come off easily. Trim the brown bit of the cake by slicing using a serrated knife like this. 
and now using a cookie cutter which is just a bit, little bit smaller than the bottle cut out circles from the cake like this and from the jelly as well now let's start assembling our cake in the bottom half of the bottle add in some mango mousse then add in a layer of the cake add in a little bit of mousse again and then a layer of the jelly and then repeat it mousse cake again mousse a little jelly then mousse then cake i hope i'm not confusing you then in the other part of the bottle add in some mousse along with some cake some mousse again some jelly some mousse and some cake again now that both the parts of the bottle are assembled put them into the fridge for about an hour so that the filling sets a little now that our cakes have time to set it's time to remove the plastic coating of the bottle so using an exacto knife get in between the chocolate and the plastic bottle and remove it peel it off making sure you don't uh, dent the chocolate or don't break the chocolate just be uh, gentle with it do the same for both the halves for the top half remove the plastic a little from the bottom and then just unscrew the cap and give it a slight press at the top and the bottle would pop out like this now that both the parts are ready here i have just put the melted chocolate in a piping bag I pipe it around the border like this and place the other half think the bottle should st st stand upright and then using a palette knife just smooth out the chocolate the uh, chocolate which is joining you can use the melted chocolate to fill in any cracks if you have any put some chocolate on top of the cap and then stick it in place time to add in the label that we saved earlier using some melted chocolate the label would hide the seam that we created while joining the two parts of the bottle and this is what the finished bottle looks like isn't it amazing look at the original and the cake you cannot even tell the difference i'm so happy with the way it turned out and look at those gorgeous layers this cake is super delicious i hope you give this one a try and if you do don't forget to pay a share a picture with me on my social media links to which are in the description box below and if you still haven't subscribed what are you waiting for click that subscribe button right away for more such videos until next time bye bye